Okay. This is the one on this side house. This is the one. This is where we transplanted from the other one from. This side of the house has a really good drain spout that comes over here. When it rains really, really, really hard, this whole area pretty much gets flooded out. Um, but it does um, hold water over here pretty good. It's kind of in a corner, so to speak, so you don't really get a whole lot of sunlight during the day, but it does get a whole lot of sunlight after the sun has reached its high point in the day, around noon. Um, as you can see, trying to get a little closer here for you. Again, the edges, the plant grows out like this, but as you can see in the middle, the whole thing has died out for me. Um, I water this, like I said, every single day. But, um, yeah, it's not doing so well. And all this was thick underneath it. It came, it was beautifully green and white. Not a green and yellow like it is right now. But it was more of a white color. And the focus is horrible on that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and, but as you can see, we've gotten to this lovely brown, uh, pretty dry, which I don't understand why it's doing that. Um, the whole underbrush that was in here, all that has died out. Um, it was very full under there. Like I said, this side was the side that, the one that we transplanted in the backyard had a single side, single piece in it. Up under here, um, my dad's sprinkler system is currently not working right, so that's one of the reasons why I'm out every morning trying to water it. We did take it and put fertilizer, and we put um, plant food. The whole, you know, dug it up and everything. As far as what's underneath, the I would call it the wonderful South Carolina clay or Georgia clay, as most people have heard of it. It's absolutely horrible soil up under there is not anything beautifully rich it's South Carolina and therefore it's got that lovely clay going on up under it um, yeah she's 